Hello and welcome to the MMO Masters Presents Planetside 2. I'm your host Pelligan and I'm here to show you a little bit more about certifications regarding the classes and what you can unlock that way. Right now I'm standing on top of a bio lab looking towards the amp station that's currently being attacked. You can see some fire going around. Bombers, liberator, someone's firing at that liberator. I think it's friendly. I'm not sure. Anyway, nice view. Let's get into it. Now, certification points, same as what I showed on the vehicles, applies to the class as well. For the infiltrator, in fact, uh, it has special things like hacking and stealth, but a lot of the classes have these universal, kind of similar ones. At least the universal one is purely what it sounds like. It's, you just unlock for everything. And the main thing you get is a med kit, uh, farther throwing distance for grenades, and uh, what is it? Amount of time it takes to throw a grenade. So instead of like it takes like a second and a half to prime and throw, it'll you know, just poof, there goes a grenade, kind of Halo style. Almost every uh, class can unlock different kinds of explosives depending on what class they are. Uh, snipers, the infiltrator can lay down claim. You can unlock claymores, which makes sense in order to defend yourself from behind and stuff like that. Suit modifications. There, are, these three are on all the classes, but then there are more. Uh, class-based ones like melee bonuses, so you do faster melee attacks, more damaging ones, active camo detection, you'll see other infiltrators that try and sneak up on you, stuff like that. It's just suit modifications. Hacking. Hacking was in the game, right now it's not. It's more like a capture and hold, just be near the point thing. Happy. Once they put it back in, this will actually apply, which is really useful. I mean, if you can hack in a split second, it'd be really cool. The cloaking, they have talked about it before, but here's what it actually is. is there's different types of cloaks you can get for an infiltrator. Uh, decrease the time until fully cloaked. And you can sprint while cloaked or sprint faster. This one, you take less damage, you know, stuff like that. Stalker, I don't know what that is. What is that? Okay, this is like permanent active camo like the first game had, but you can only use pistols. So it's more for infiltration and subterfuge. The other things they have are spec tools, EMPs, IFF, scramblers, they all self explanatory and just the certs are like carry more of, can do longer range things, stuff like that. And then obviously the sniper rifle has the same kind of things you can unlock as any gun pistols, the same pistol. When they, they all share the same pistol, so if you unlock anything on the pistol, it'll apply to all classes. Anyone that uses the same gun, it'll apply to them all. The combat medics, same universal. For their explosives, they actually get uh, healing grenades they can get, or C4. I don't know why you'd need C4 as a medic, but, you know, sometimes need it. Symbiotic healing, I know, is a cool one. While you're healing someone else, it'll heal you. If you res someone up, uh, what else does it do? It'll, it'll bring them back to full health instead of just a little bit of health and you have to heal them again. Triage, I don't know what that is. No, it heals anyone that's in the same vehicle as the medic. Different healing, like bonuses and such there. The tools, right now it's just the applicator that you can use. It increases how much you res them by. I think you actually have to get the first point of this to even res maxes. Otherwise you can't res a max. Oh, there you go. You can inject a virus into friendlies or enemies. Damage the enemies, heal the friendlies. It's kind of cool AOE design. More fantasy style ability. Same guns as always. There are a lot of like there are a lot of cool barrel attachments or grip forward attachments, IFF scanners, angular grip, increased aimed accuracy while moving, you know, grenade launcher, shotgun, smoke grenade, cool stuff. Same pistol. Heavy assault. I was originally playing this for a bit, so that's why I have a few certs in it. But it kind of has the least. I mean, it has C4 as an explosive. It also has anti vehicular grenade, concussion grenade. Suit modifications, you can really just buff up the armor like retardedly and they'll have as much as a, a max if you actually put the points into it. I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive for that one. 
That's kind of nice. You can carry a bunch of rockets. There's a very limited number of rockets you can carry, but I mean, if you have an engineer nearby, it's kind of pointless unless you're going lone wolf style. This one looks like you can deploy shields, generators, cool stuff. I got some of the basics on this one just to try and help. I went with the forward grip originally because it's a lot of run up there and swing around and fire at things, but it didn't help that much and I got annoyed pretty quickly. That's just my play style. I get shot up if I get face to face. I kind of have to get that jump on people. That's why I went engineer with just a laser sight and good distance away. Light Assault, their whole class function is they have a jump jet that lets them get around, so they don't really get any secondary items other than their machine gun. They still get uh, C4, they get smoke grenades, flash grenades, universals are all the same. Suit modifications, all the basic ones, they get uh, increased sprint speed though, you can search for that. It's kind of more like a scout from Team Fortress in that regard. The jump jets, there's a couple of different types you can use. Like this one, no matter how far you fall, even if you don't use your jets, you won't die. Because your jets will activate and uh, keep you safe. The Icarus jump jets, it's like superior jump jets. You take off faster, but it takes longer to cool down. So, like if you wanted to try intercept an aircraft or something. Which I don't recommend, because they usually will just smack you like a bug and you die. Which I do that in my aircraft, so I know what that is like. For the most part, oh, there's a Reaver looking at me. How you doing, buddy? What's up? Run away! Anyway, looks like he's coming to infiltrate. And yes, for aircraft, the light aircraft, they can be shot at with a machine gun. It's not going to kill them very much. It's not going to do much to them. But you can put a few rounds in them. If there's enough people and it's low enough, you could probably shoot it down. I don't see that happening very much, so. Back to the certs. Engineer, my personal favorite, as always. Same universal. The explosives, they have, they can access all the explosives that other classes get a taste of. You can only equip one at a time, but it's still nice that you can carry pretty much all of them. The engineer's traits are they can repair vehicles, maxes, and they can deploy turrets. Not automatic turrets, you have to actually be in them for it to activate, but it's a really nice turret that is good for defending. The shield's pretty much impenetrable, you have to hit the actual turret or try and get a headshot on the gunner to kill them. I mean, a rocket's going to do the job too, but... You can take a few rocks to the face of the turret without dying. This one I could put down a barrier or mana turret, which is, uh, what is it? Oh, it's just a better machine gun turret, because that's why it's called Ace Blueprints. Repair tools just repair faster. This one's kind of cool. The information's kind of bugged on it right now. But the deconstructor is uh, how on Battlefield you can take a torch to an enemy tank and just destroy it in like 30 seconds. That's basically what it is. You can run up to an enemy tank that's not paying attention, use your repair tool to destroy it. If they're just sitting there long enough, it'll just eat away at their health. Then I have the Chieftain, which the Light Assault also uses, so they have that same stuff unlocked. Now the Max is the Heavy Assault mech that has a cooldown. It's a personal robot that you drive. The downsides are, at least originally, you couldn't jump in it. Uh, it can only get in very specific vehicles and only in like a passenger spot, not a gunner spot. And the cooldown makes it kind of difficult. I mean, uh, originally in the first game, they had abilities. This is, this is the only class that had abilities, really. It had, uh, at least for the Terran Republic, it had a lockdown. It anchors uh, the max into the ground and lets the fire rate go just apeshit high, but they can't move. Or they can they can turn, they can pivot, but they can't move from their spot. The VS, Venice Sovereignty, uh, their max is, had jump jets. It was the only thing in the game with jump jets. And then new conglomerate, uh, I don't care. They're just annoying with their goddamn shotguns. Let's look at the max enhancements. They have a sprint. It's kind of a burst sprint with a cooldown. I think that's one of the abilities they're adding into this game. They mentioned they were going to have the other ones. In fact, here's the abilities. Charge, dash forward quickly. I'm assuming that would 
probably kill an infantry if you hit them. Uh, more shot per second. Lockdown. Looks like that reaver's back. Utility packages, I don't know what that is. Just damage from explosions, that's kind of nice. Then, upgrades of different kinds of ammo, basically, for uh, the weapons. The cycler is the best example right now. Is You can get flashlights, laser dot, extended mag, anti-armor, anti-shield ammo. Where did that reaver go? He hasn't taken anything yet, so he's just scouting out. Oh, he bugged out. Alright. That's it for infantry classes and how certifications work for them. It's not all implemented yet. It's all subject to change, so don't take my word on it. It is closed beta and it is changing constantly. So, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I will have more in the future, including World of Warcraft, Mrs. Pandaria, Planetside 2, and Guild Wars 2 footage. Enjoy.